I think a lot of testing is done inappropriately. Like you said, over-testing is still running rampant. You know, if someone has made it to 75, 80 years old and haven't had a blood clot, that thrombophilia is my first uh, go-to for, you know, <laughs> checking to see what's mm -hmm. going on. Um, you know, sometimes we test inappropriately. Like in the acute setting, you have a lot of inflammatory markers, things going on. So you can get false positives. People don't realize if they're, they sent the test and they'd already given the first dose of DOAC, so you might get false positives. And you know, you're getting a false positive, especially for antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, that lupus anticoagulant comes back positive. Now we have to repeat it. And many patients don't get that follow-up in 12 weeks off of anticoagulation. And the biggest thing that, you know, comes back to haunt the patient and us in the, the clinic space is if you have a misdiagnosed thrombophilia, it does change your patient's approach to periop planning. So, you know, when we have false positive APS patients that, you know, were diagnosed 15 years ago and have just carried this diagnosis and you look back through the notes and you're like, man, I, I don't think this was done. I, I can't find any follow-up labs. But now every time they go for any procedure, you know, I have to bridge them.